Hello my beautiful Cancers and welcome to your love reading for late August heading into September 2022. I hope you're doing well. Based on the pre-shuffle it definitely looks like you're stuck in limbo with someone. Now we don't have the hanged man but we do have divine counterparts here. We've got the king of wands and the queen of wands in the reverse position. Now the king of wands in the reverse is telling me it could be dealing with someone who's not taking the necessary action to patch things up. You know, the, the king of wands in the reverse is a bit lazy. The king of wands in the reverse is refusing to do what's necessary. The queen of wands on the other hand, I feel like it's you, to be fair. Um, the queen of wands in the reverse usually tells me about someone who's lacking in confidence. Um, but whatever the case is, you know, this is you and your person of interest. And I feel like you're stuck. There's an inability to move forward with this Six of Swords in the reverse. Um, now, we have the Three of Swords in the reverse, which is good. It means that healing is about to take place. Maybe uh, someone who was interfering in this connection you know, a third party, they're being removed from the scenario. Because we do have another queen here. We have the Queen of Cups. Now, this would normally be you. And it could be you. Um, but I can't ignore the fact that there are two queens within close proximity to each other. So if you've been waiting for someone to kind of um, be taken out of the equation, I see that happening with this Three of Swords in the reverse. Whatever has been um, keeping this connection stuck I feel like it's being removed the queen of cups is um, also passive energy so I feel like you're still holding on to feelings that you have for somebody but you're not taking any action similar to the the king of wands in the reverse um, look you've got victory okay so whatever is about to take place whatever is about to unfold in this love situation you're coming out on top so if you resonate to the scenario where someone was interfering, I feel like this person is going to be eliminated from the equation and, you know, you're the victor. You get chosen, you know, um, and you will no longer be stressed out by the situation. You're no longer losing sleep. You're no longer obsessing about it. Okay. Definitely feels like there could have been someone in the way because the two of pentacles is here, right? So um, it could have been someone from the past because we have the Six of Cups here, okay? And it could be that your person is finally blocking this past person so they can no longer interfere. Uh, whatever the case, I feel like you're about to move forward. I can feel imminent momentum even though currently we're here, okay? So if there's been um, a lack of communication, if, if the other person has been silent, you're about to hear from them, okay? Um, but there is a sense that communication has been delayed with this Eight of Wands in the reverse. It's not over, okay, because we have the Death card in the reverse. So there's not an ending here, but there does need to be the ending of a situation that's been causing strife in order for a new beginning to take place because immediately after the death card in the reverse, we have the judgment in the reverse. So they're saying transformation cannot take place. A second chance cannot be granted unless this situation is resolved, a third party is removed and healing takes place, okay? Um, for many of you, it could be a family member interfering because we have the Seven of Swords next to the Ten of Cups in the reverse. Now the Ten of Cups is always about families. Um, and the Seven of Swords talks about someone who may have been deceitful, dishonest, um, you know, that's the meaning of this card. It definitely feels like someone um, was underhanded, they had an agenda, um, and they created havoc in your connection, alright? So let me know if that resonates in the, um, in the comment section. Let's have a look at what this obstacle was. What was this third party energy? Angels and Spirit, what was coming in between Cancer and their person in the recent past? Angels and Spirit, please show me what was coming in between Cancer and their person. What was coming 
in between Cancer and their person, please. Yeah, definitely um, something that made your person feel stuck. They were bound. They felt a sense of duty. Um, yeah, there was some kind of toxic situation. And doesn't spirit please show me what was getting in the way of cancer and their person, please? Yeah, two of pentacles. Someone feeling obliged. So your person might have felt obliged to, um, I don't know, come to the aid of a family member in need or someone codependent. Show me what was the obstacle, the main obstacle for cancer and their person, please. Oops. And it doesn't spirit please show me what was the main obstacle. They definitely choose you over this other person. Um, that's what I'm getting from the power of choice card. a new beginning as well which what I was talking about with the death card yeah so we've got outside influences and you're being protected from them um, so you know your person was heavily influenced by someone maybe they were strongly against your relationship and your person allowed this this other person to kind of um, you know sabotage this relationship they created a wedge is what I'm seeing because we've got from a distance. So I feel like there has been distance and a lack of communication between you and your person as a result of, of this interference. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Yep. Toxic behaviors close to the top. So um, I'm getting codependency with this devil card and, and certainly toxic behavior that sabotaged you and your person's connection. So let's have a look. What else can I get? I don't normally use this deck, but let's see. What's going on for Cancer in Love? Leading into, yeah, see, past karma. So it could have been an ex for some of you. Um, yeah. Maybe your person had to deal with a ghost from the past. Doesn't speak. Please show me what's going on for Cancer in Love. What's going on for Cancer in Love? Okay, what have we got here? Too many cards. Two more shuffles. Okay, maybe this person encroached on your living space. Uh, maybe a family member needed to stay with you temporarily. Um, yeah, see, there's the third party and we've got unfinished business. It's going to be different for all of you, but um, see, I said ghost from the past. It could have been a past person coming back um, and, and causing chaos. But we do have transformation of this situation. We've got change. I do believe that it has the potential to bring the two of you closer than you were before. Because we've got intimacy here. There's the third party. They're the snake. I feel like your person is going to break free of this influence. Um, after, you know, they come to their senses, we have spiritual awakening. The snake is also a symbol of healing. So this whole situation is going to be healed in your favor. Um, we've got addiction here and I feel like it's that devil energy.
And um, look, I'm just seeing you coming out on top here. So it's quite positive to be, to be honest. Um, now let's have a look at your person. What would they say to you? What would they say to Cancer, please? What do they want to say to Cancer? They're worried about you. Um, they they was they were kind of getting the feeling that you weren't going to be tolerating this for much longer. They're saying, I'm worried about you moving on. So they know they need to um, take the necessary action. What did I say? I have family and work obligations. They felt obligated to somebody. Show me what else would they say to cancer, please. I was in denial. They weren't seeing clearly how this was impacting you, okay? Um... When we're together, I feel alive and time stands still. So there's no comparison. You know, you, you are the apple of this person's eye. Um, if the two of you weren't communicating um, for a while, they're saying, I, I could hear you even in the silence. Financial issues are a concern. I'm trying to heal old wounds. I'm sorry for the way that I acted. I felt trapped and stuck in my situation. So, look, they were kind of feeling like a, a, um, a rock between stuck in a hard place. You know, whatever that saying is. I'm terrible with sayings when it comes to the YouTube channel. I don't know why. <laughs> um, it's like that part of my brain switches off so that I can tune into the collective energy. I don't know what it is. Um, let's have a look at your advice, Cancer. We'll have a look at the simple love advice and then we'll have a look at the wisdom of the oracle. Angels and Spirit, please show me what is Cancer's advice in love. This person's feeling really pressured, so don't try not to apply too much pressure on them right now. Um, I'm just getting trapped. Both of you feel trapped at, at the moment. And the solution is to just focus on yourself. You've got me time. So it's time to focus on your own healing, your inner work, your career goals, your health. Just try and withdraw your energy from this connection. Try not to obsess over what's going on and what's not happening. And just focus on yourself. You've got don't worry, be happy. Okay, so there's nothing that you can do to change the situation at the moment. Um, so it's pointless to worry about it. You know, worry is a wasted emotion anyway. Um, but your anxiety is not going to change anything. So just try to achieve peace of mind for yourself, um, just for the sake of peace. And, um, you know, do you need a reason? Like, peace should be your number one priority right now. Don't be overly reactive, um, you know, just be accepting is what I'm seeing right now, okay? And don't project your fears onto the connection, just chill out, there's going to be a revival of this relationship, um, but right now you're being asked to step back, okay? So let's see what your oracle message is. I'm actually, instead of the wisdom of the oracle, I'm being drawn to the crystal spirit deck. So let's see what spirit has for you. Angels and spirit, please show me what is Cancer's love advice. What is Cancer's love advice? What is Cancer's love advice in early September 2022? What is Cancer's love advice? So you've got amethyst and clear quartz. Also amber, which is about looking to your family background to, to figure out 
you know, um, what's going on in your love life, why you keep repeating um, patterns, things like that. Where's the guidebook? So, uh, definitely there's that um, focus on family getting in the way for this reading. So, Amethyst is saying, um, It's here to awaken you to the exciting possibility of an even richer partnership or relationship with someone that you feel a connection to. What did I say? So whatever you're currently going through, this situation is going to um, bring the two of you together closer. Step out of the same old, same old and into a new way of interacting. Perhaps something as basic as saying thank you or I love you more often or speaking your truth with love and conviction, even in relation to seemingly trivial things. Big journeys of healing start with small steps. So keep it simple right now, okay? Maybe even listen to the guided meditation I posted on my channel. Um, okay. So rather than getting defensive, your advice is to pause and just listen. The energy of rediscovery is calling to you to deepen your trust and intimacy. Don't be shy. You can do this. So again, yeah, yeah um, Amethyst is asking you to meditate um, to clear the mind of extraneous thoughts. Um, it's, it's asking you to explore and trust your intuitive ability and cancer you're, you're highly intuitive There's something about what's going on in your love life right now That's going to lead to more clarity because that's what clear quartz is all about um, It's it's talking about um, Reflecting on where you might need to grow rather than focusing on other people's flaws turn your attention to all that's wonderful in the people that you care about in yourself and in your relationship grow what is good grow what is working no one can be all things to all people at all times so cut yourself and your partner some slack what did I say before don't be applying too much pressure this person is already feeling pressured just celebrate who you are and what you experience in your relationships that helps you to feel loved and appreciated say thank you that's another card saying that so say thank you to the people in your life who make it better in so many different ways so it's asking you to place your attention on what you want and amber is saying um, yeah, it's, it's asking you to heal family patterns, release karma, and preserve the wisdom gained by the lessons of the past. It says, in romantic relationships, we always have a choice to stay or go, to learn and grow, or to move on to a new partnership. If you want to have a different sort of relationship the next time around, Amber's message to you is clear. Explore, explore your family relationships. The nuggets of wisdom that you mine will help you avoid repeating the pain of the past in your partnerships um, now and in the future. Find these hidden gifts of wisdom and strength so that you may enjoy the loving partnerships that you deserve. Okay, so Cancer, I hope that this reading was helpful. Um, do leave me comments below and I will see you guys next time. Bye.